Hey yo, what's up, what's up? Uh, this is Skyward 100 again. Uh, I'm making a video for the first time in a while, actually showing my uh, my actual face. And in today's video, I'm, I'm gonna be talking about my experiences uh, working, you know, in the in the restaurant industry. But I guess you can say, generally speaking, it was mainly, uh, you know, retail. I mean, some people will tend to categorize fast food and retail. So yeah, let's let's do this. So I'm just gonna talk this video. Uh, Working retail sucks. Let's just, let's just go with that, right? So here in the South, we have this uh, this restaurant chain that's exclu that's, exclu that's exclusive to Southern states. So I worked at a um, so I worked at at Waterburger, right? Since uh, I would say since late 2018, and I quit back in 2020 because you know it was COVID. Uh, things got very depressing, and things overall just wasn't fun as it used to be, and it. It, it the job and it was starting to get to me and I was picking up on a lot of bad shit that was going on in that restaurant and I just couldn't I just couldn't take it anymore so I quit and I was like unemployed for like the past four months while I was attending college uh, back in 2021 and so essentially I was driving back and forth from from like my 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 hometown to Commerce Texas uh, draining whatever amount whatever amount of money i had left in my savings account on gas and like you know in my dumbass spending spending money on energy drinks and so by the time so by the time april hit um the, the people over my over at my university they decided to uh end the semester a month early because of covid and all that and they wanted to give us a break i suppose so around april of 2021 <clears throat> um I only had like fifteen dollars to my name in my bank account at that around that time, and of course around that time a lot of a lot of companies were, you know, desperately looking for. For employees, and so I was looking so I was looking for like whatever shitty minimum wage job I can find on, on Indeed.com, and, and I found Taco Bell. Uh, in Grand Prairie. So I decided, you know what, I'm willing to, uh, take advantage of this little opportunity that was, that was given to me. And so I did. And I immediately got a call back and I got hired on the spot because I have experience. And at first, and at first like, like things were going okay. You know, like I wasn't like, my name wasn't on the schedule still, but like I was kind of like working whenever the, the, whenever the store manager would want me to work. And so that was kind of going on for, for like a while now until sometime around I think November until right around sometime in, in November of 2021 when there was like an, this investigation going on with the store with the store manager because uh cuz she stole money from the safe to spend to spend it on whatever luxury items that she clearly couldn't aff to, to, you know the fun her lifestyle that she clearly didn't wasn't able to you know have that kind of money for it. so she ended up stealing so she ended up stealing from the from the store and there was like this whole investigation going on with, with the franchisee owners of that store in particular uh constantly coming back going back and forth back and forth back and forth with, with the store man with the store manager and the managers themselves asking them hey where's the keys at where's the keys at where's the keys at and of course the managers according to them right they, they told me that that the managers are not allowed to hold on to keys to the safe they're not they're simply just not allowed to and so <clears throat> so basically that that was going on for like the past no I, I would say this this was going on since october either october or september so so it was going on for the past two months like this whole investigation was going on for the past two months but november ultimately was when it got so bad that that i i couldn't work at all I could not work at all because the store manager, she, the, the way that she was running the store, it was, a, it was a complete mess. And they had to bring in an, another store manager from, from a different area to come to this new location that I got, I got, that I got hired at to, to fix whatever, whatever us mess up that the store manager made herself. And so because of, of, of that store manager and, and the stupid shit that she did, in this whole investigation that's going that was going on, I was literally out of work for for like I will say two weeks now. Uncertain as to how I'm gonna be making money now. 
uncertain as to all of that stuff. And there were, and there was no communication from from the, from none of my managers that I worked with. No communication from anybody. Communication which which is terrible. And and I would say like like right around and I'll say like 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 I didn't get any communication from my managers until like about a week. Uh, for, for like about a week in, until Thanksgiving started. And so when Thanksgiving started, you no, know, like a week before Thanksgiving started, that was when I finally got communication back from these people. And I finally was, and I was like officially on the schedule now. And so I was able to, you know, work on, on the days that I wanted to work uh, originally anyways. But nah, man, like work, like back then, man, working was, working was just, which is hell. It was absolute hell. Because in the days that I, that I did go to work, right? I, I was literally working from, from like from five to, to like 11 during the week it, it wasn't i mean i mean yeah like i worked like on i mean yeah, like like i worked like like thursday friday and saturday and sunday so i was working four days and, and going and going to my to my viscom program for two days out of the week yeah for two days out of the week and i'm over here trying to like garner enough energy to to do uh to do my, my viscom work for school and go to work at the same time and it was just it was just hell like it, it, it the pay wasn't worth it like i mean like it just wasn't worth it like i literally like i was literally working from like from from 5 to 11 almost close to midnight uh working and that bullshit essentially just kept going from friday to, to sunday pretty much and I was barely getting anything out of it, to be honest with you. And not, and it, it doesn't make it any better either that at Taco Bell specifically, they only pay you, they only pay you once every two weeks. So so I literally had to struggle even longer just to get my paycheck. And it it it, it was just wasn't worth it, man. I, I was so like worn out from everything. I was tired. Uh, mentally, I was extremely tired. And speaking of, of mental exhaustion, um, that that was because of a of a of a symptom that was slowly just going to get worse and worse gradually over the years. Um, and not because of that, I am now a type one. I'm I'm now type one. I'm a type one diabetic. I can't I can't eat too much sugar, otherwise my glucose is, is going to spike up. So so ever since then I've been very like I mean I mean I do still drink energy drinks but like I have to make sure that this shit's sugar free. I mean right now I'm currently drinking one myself actually. It's like the the C4. I know I know it's going to look mirrored in the in this camera right here but like when I actually am done recording I'm, I'm, I hope the god is this that is actually reflected correctly. But yeah it, it's I don't know, I don't know if we can see it but like it says it says zero sugar. But yeah, but like the, the design stuff like that. This is what I'm planning to do as a career, by the way. I'm planning on on doing brand recognition. I'm planning on like you know, uh, doing brands like doing advertising or you know coming up with like uh, visual communication in, in in regards to like how a brand can look and what what differentiates it from like other competitors and whatever niche market it is. But anyways, that's besides the point. But at the time, I, I wasn't a diabetic at the time, at least not yet. And so, I'm, I'm, yeah, but overall, I'm, I'm, the, thing that was, the thing that was so stupid with, with this uh, store manager was, was that she ended up getting promoted to, to, to regional, right? Even though she stole money from the store, and, and, yet they fired, and yet they fired one of my managers because she closed the store too early. Yeah, that was literally the level of, of stupidity that 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 was going on at the store. Or, or you wouldn't fire that. Or you wouldn't fire that 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 one that one that one woman for stealing money from the store. Or, or, or y'all have no problem um, promoting a thief, somebody that stole money from y'all. You have no problem reporting. Y'all y'all have no problem promoting her, but you're gonna fire one of the managers for closing the store too early. Like what the fuck? And I don't think she and I don't think she ever paid back the the money that she borrowed either. I don't think she ever did. And and, and she wanted to oh yeah oh yeah also 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 uh, since and also she she tried to throw me under the bus too. She tried to get me involved with with, with her with her um with like her, her her nonsense pretty much. 
so when I was gone, right, one of the, so like when I was like gone, right, dealing with school, dealing with whatever the hell I had to deal with, right, uh, one of the managers, she told me that, that the store manager tried to lie and, and say that like I was asking for, for money for gas, even though I never did in the first place. Um, here's the thing. She offered to, to give me money for gas, and, and I assumed that at, that at the time that it was money coming out from her from her own pocket because she wanted to be nice. That's what I assumed. But for me, I never I never took up the, I never took up the offer because because I because I, I, I filled up money because I filled up the gas for my car from money that I got from my paychecks. I never I never asked her once for for any gas. Even though I did appreciate, you know, you know, the option of asking her for money for gas, but I never, but I never like, you know, actually got money from her for it. But yeah, but I literally just assumed that it was, it was her money. Literally just assumed it was her money. Only to find out that no, it was money from the safe that she was going to, that she was going to steal it from and just give it to me. But yeah, it, it was just stupid all around. But yeah, but like once everything got settled down and we, and, and we ended up getting a, a, a new store manager, right? It, it was like, it was like a guy. So for the rest of 2022, it was just nothing but just stupidity all around. Like 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 me dealing with like with dealing with like asshole customers. I don't know what the hell is wrong with people in Grand Prairie, but the people in Grand Prairie they're by far one of the most they're they're by far one of the most entitled pricks I've ever came across. <clears throat> by far one of the most entitled pricks I've ever come across. And, and like most of the people that that be giving that be giving us problems right as coworkers and and you know the restaurant were were fucking black people. Black people were always giving us fucking problems, always. They always be showing up, and they always be, be they always be showing up with, with like with like this mindset that they, that they want to fight somebody, even if it's just some teenager working a drive through. But but for me, I mean, obviously at the time I, I was like twenty twenty one, so obviously I was of legal age to to get into a fight with with somebody. But but obviously I, I wasn't gonna say nothing, you know. <clears throat> but um, but yeah, they would get mad at me over the most over the most uh dumbest things, over the most dumbest shit. <clears throat> oh, let me speak to your manager, you little smart ass. You know, doing shit like that. I, I, I even, I even, I even remember one time too. And I even remember one time too. That that um, there was this, there was like this uh, this woman that 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 ordered something for, from us, right? And at the last minute, she she wanted to, she wanted a side of sour cream. And I was like, "All right, I mean, I mean, Taco Bell, we we, we don't we don't give shy, we don't get sides for free. We we always charge for sides too." And so they were like, "So I told them, all right, if you want a side of sour cream, that's gonna, that's gonna be fifty cents." And she was like, 50 cents, motherfucker. Let me speak to your manager. Always playing games and shit. You know, or already fucking starting fights with me. I was like, "God damn it, bitch." And so I I straight up like like went up to the. To my store manager, right, my, my my new store manager, and I told him about the situation, and basically she he just stood there and just listened to her bitch at him for like the next five minutes or so, and then she drove off. And that was the type of shit that we dealt with all the fucking time, and also there was this one time too where we're like we're like we also dealt with this one like this one prick right that that showed up, and and we literally had to redo the, this guy's uh, this this guy's uh, uh chicken uh, steak power bowl. Three fucking times, even though I mean, and even though we did it exactly the way that he wanted it, he still told us it was wrong, and we had to and we had to do it again. And it was just like I'm mean, like, bro, we did it exactly the way that you wanted. How are you gonna tell me? How are you gonna tell us that it's wrong when you, when you told when we're doing it exactly the way that you want it? So so we gave him. So we literally had to redo his his, his fucking uh, steak powerball three fucking times, which was dumb as hell. And yeah, that was that was um that was pretty much everybody in Grand Prairie in a nutshell, idiots that, that think that they're intelligent but they're not. And I remember, I remember one time too. There, there was a, there was this one dickhead driving this big ass like like Ford truck with, with his fucking bitch in the passenger seat and his two dickhead friends in the back seat. And, and I and I guess and I guess the the fat ass that was driving the the truck, I guess he wanted to impress his his bitch that he was with. And so he was um, so he so you so you wanted like two taco party packs, right? Fine, right? And um, and then when we gave him the food, right? Last minute, this motherfucker has the nerve to ask us if we could give him a, a side of sour cream. And I'm like, all right, if you want sour cream, we're going to charge you 50 cents. And then, 
and then after we gave him the side, of, and then after like like we charged him for the sour cream, right? And we gave it to him. This mo this motherfucker felt, felt that it was okay to 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 literally burn rubber in front of us, like like basically just tire smoke. This motherfucker had the nerve to make tire smoke in in the drive-through window, and then speed off, and, and like the whole drive-through window was like was like covered in, in smoke. And um, and this guy that I was working at, that I was working with, with right, his name was uh, was Eli. And, and let me tell you, and I'll tell you something about Eli. Eli was a special character. Let's just go with that. He'll be something. He'll be someone of importance later on. So Eli walked up to the window and like he just like yelled like, like "Hey yo, what the fuck?" <laughs> I mean, I mean, I agree with them. You know, I was like, I was like, I was just like, like outraged by by that shit because I mean, like that wasn't necessary. You know, you know that behavior was not fucking necessary. But anyways. <laughs> Yeah, a prime example of a grown ass man children of grown ass uh, children, you know. And I encountered plenty of those fuckers in the drive through, grown ass children, you know. And so, um, and so the customers that 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 pulled up after that that black truck, they were all talking shit about him, saying that he was a fucking idiot. And I'm like, and, and, and like at this point, I basically just started just started ranting and started venting to the customer. I didn't give a fuck. I was just like, I was just like, hey, I was like. Yeah, 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 yeah. The motherfucker did that shit because he wanted because he wanted to impress that that bitch that, that he had in his in his in his passenger seat, and then you know the exchange went went by normal as usual. You know, I cashed I cashed the next guy out. You know, gave him his food. He moved on. Re repeat, repeat, repeat. But yeah, but I'm telling you, like we had nothing. We had, we had nothing but entitled assholes in Grand Prairie. Like like the drastic difference from the people here in, in in my in my hometown and the people over there in in Grand Prairie are vastly different. The people here are a lot more nicer than the people over there in Grand Prairie. The people there in Grand Prairie, they're by far one of the most fucking entitled pricks I've ever come I've ever had to encounter in my life. But anyways, uh, moving forward. Um, there was also. It's other instance too, where, where there was like the, this uh, this white guy. Oh, oh yeah. Also, also so like so um, COVID restrictions. So right around twenty twenty two as well, right? COVID restrictions were starting to you know ease off a bit. Right around twenty, right around like April, May ish of twenty twenty two, uh, our, the uh, COVID restrictions were starting to ease off, and so they decided to start increasing the hours in which we in which we had to stay at, at Taco Bell for people that were trying to, for people that were night shift. So I could no longer leave at twelve o'clock anymore. They wanted me to leave at 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 at, uh, at three in the morning, which is what they wanted me to do was leave at three in the morning. So at this point, they literally were just saying "fuck you" to me. That they didn't care. They didn't. They didn't give a fuck about what I had going on in my life. They only cared about what they were. They only cared about making money, right? Especially the area coach. The area coach. Oh my god, I fucking hated the area coach. So for some reason, these, these franchisee owners, right? They felt the need to, to hire this 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 useless ass. Uh, um, this, this useless ass area coach they'll, they'll always show up and, and micromanage us and, and, and talk shit to us about what about what about the fact that, that, that like we're not saying certain things correctly we're not annoying the customers with offers of desserts or drinks and she got on to me for that I'm like listen bitch I'm not I'm not going to bombard the customer with with, with every single customer with, with offers of drinks and and, and fucking uh and fucking desserts, all right. And I'm not gonna keep annoying every single customer to donate to some bullshit charity that 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 no one that no one gives a fuck about, all right. I guarantee you that that, that every single don that all those donations that that customers do agree to ha to making are not even going towards children, anyways. That that's a fucking fact. That's a fucking fact. But I I was always fighting with this bitch. You know what I'm saying? You know, fucking, I'm gonna say her name. Her name, her name was uh, was Carmen, right? I was always fighting with her because I wasn't saying the shit that she wanted me to say. She was getting mad at me because I because I wasn't because I wasn't talking like a corporate puppet in the drive thru and she didn't like that. And I'm like, what's your problem? You're literally like like the only person who has a problem with how with how I ring up orders. No one else has a problem with how I ring up orders but you. And it just got in, in it, like we were, we were always co constantly fighting back and forth, back and forth with each other over the stupid ass shit. And um, 
it was so fucking stupid. I'm, I even, I remember one time too, right? Like like er, like everybody that I was working with, right? No one wanted to work till three. We originally we were all trying to leave at twelve. And 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 when we were trying to you know close up the store to get ready to you know to to go home, uh, Carmen's bitch ass shows up in her car with her daughter in the back seat at twelve o'clock at midnight, and she's saying. Where, where are you guys going? Where are you guys going? You guys aren't supposed to close yet. This it's not, it's not three o'clock. It's not three o'clock. And and both me and, and and fucking I'm gonna say the guy's name, but both me and Anthony at the time, right? We we were fucking pissed. I was like, man, we were yeah, we were so mad because because we, we wanted to go home. We wanted to go home. So because of the fact that we got caught, we we had to stay until three o'clock in the morning. And, and, and the way that, the, 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 that they, that they coached the, the, the managers to close up shop was fucking bullshit. And it wasn't fair for me either because, because on the shifts, right? Because like on the shift, right? Where, where we're supposed to be like closing up shop. It was just, it was me doing all the work while the manager w- was just waiting in the office, waiting on me to finish everything, which wasn't fair because I was the only, I was the only, I was the only, um, employee that was there. So at night, right after a certain after a certain period of time, right, the other two coworkers, right, like right around like eleven, they would leave. Like right around like right around ten or eleven, right, they would leave, and so it, it would just be me and the manager, just the two of us alone at the store, and so while the manager is is at is in the office not doing shit, I'm the one over here having to do all the heavy lifting, having to do all the cleaning and shit like that, having to do all the dishes, all, all that all that bullshit. And by the time I was done with all that, with, the, with all that shit, it was already like like what four in the morning. It was already like four in the morning, and it just got to the point where I'm just like, you know what, I'm I'm, I'm tired of this shit. So I went up and, and told my manager at the time, like like hey um, <clears throat> hey hey Emma, because that was her name. Hey Emma, I, I'm I'm quitting. Tell Car- tell Carmen that I'm quitting. I'm not I'm not dealing with this shit no more. And this was right when they, they got rid of my old store manager, right? And, and they and they ended up having Carmen run run the store. So they turned so they made Carmen into into the store manager. And this bullshit happened. So when Carmen ended up becoming store manager, I was like, I was like, oh my fucking god, I want to quit. And Anthony was like, no, nah, no, Adrian, give it a week, give it a week, give it a week. And I'm like, I'm like, bro, I'm telling you right now, it's not gonna be a good week. I'm telling you right now, I'm, I am going to get into a fight with this bitch, this bitch Carmen. And surprise, surprise, like I, 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 and surprise, surprise, I was having issues with her. And also surprise, surprise, she she kicked me off the she took me off the schedule. So this was like the second time in a row, back in 2022, that I got taken off the schedule twice. And so I basically just had enough of it. I was, I was, I was like, look, I'm tired of this dumb shit. After I mean, and, and fortunately Eli was nice was nice enough to let me have his shift. And so yeah, after that day, I I just I just I just told myself, you know what, I'm not I'm not gonna show up to work. She Carmen can go fuck herself. And, and I even told and I even told Emma that I was quitting and that I'm not coming back. And she was like, and even even though she only spoke Spanish, she was very understanding of my situation, and she knows and she knows that I that I hate Carmen. You know, I, I hate her as as a. As a manager, I hate her as, a, as an area coach. You know, she was annoying. She knew, so yeah, I didn't come back. And then Carmen's over here, like messaging me, saying like, "Oh, Adrian, why you no come to work?" And I told, and I basically just lied to her, and I was like, "I was like, look, I told Gabriel I, I quit about a week ago, and that was the end of that. Never texted me again. And that was the end of that." And um, so I was basically on. Un- so I was basically unemployed from I would say from April from like from May all the way until like early August. That was the longest I was like unemployed a lot, like two years ago. And then I got hired at, a- at another Taco Bell that was in my hometown this time. And. And, and and like the, and like the reason why I got hired instantly was because I had experience, you know, running the cat running cash register because I I know I know how this I, I know how to ring up orders I know where everything is at. 
so I got hired at the Taco Bell that was in my store. And then when I ended up and, and then and then I was working at Taco Bell for, from like from I will say from early August all the way in until like yeah from yeah from like early August all the way in until December of, of 2022 when I when I just got out the hospital and, and, and like the, and like my area manager the guy who hired me in my hometown he was like hey uh, hey Adrian we we moved you we moved you over to the new store you go go you start working there now I was like all right so I got out the hospital and around 2022 because of my um because because you know I'm, I'm not a type one diabetic at that point right i'm, I'm not because I, I was um yeah i, I could have died two years ago if my dad didn't call the paramedics you know to come take me to the to the hospital that was near that was near my house and so Yeah, I basically spent my spent my 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 so I basically spent Christmas Eve in an, in an ambulance car, an ambulance truck. Yeah, and I'm just, and I'm just like watching those doors close on me, and I'm just like, fuck, I can't believe I'm I can't believe I'm about to spend the holidays in in, in the fucking hospital. Well, when I saw that shit happen, man, I I I genuinely wanted to fucking die at that point. But anyways, I'm jumping around, I'm jumping around. So when 2023 came around, I was working at, the, at this new location, right? At this new Taco Bell location from January all the way up until, all the way up until like September of 2023. And I got to tell you, man, throughout, throughout those, those past few months, I was work. I was just like, it was nothing but just anger, rage, bitterness, Especially during the summer. During the summer, that, that got even worse. That got even worse. Like, like we're all just, we're all getting mad at each other all the damn time. It was just a lot of anger. We were all dealing with, with idiot customers. I was talking shit to them behind behind. I was talking shit to them with the mics turned off, call, calling our customers retards because they are fucking retards. And um, and, and like we're always seeing the customers enter the parking lot incorrectly. They're always they're always like entering the lane where like they have an arrow opposing the direction in which they're going into, because they're, because they're so fucking stupid and dense that they keep driving past the the sign that clearly has the arrow telling them where to go into. But but no, they always keep going into into that opposing lane, and then surprise surprise, there's, there's, no, there's no space for them to, to do a turn into the drive through into the drive through, so they have to back up and then go into the drive through. And it's like, it was so fucking stupid. And we had this one dumbass customer that was like, "Man, y'all, man, y'all parking that's so confusing." Because I'm like, "Yeah, because you don't pay attention to the fucking sign. The sign you took to go to go this way when you first enter." <laughs> but yeah, but like the whole summer, man, my whole summer was just depressing as hell, man. I was, I was just wake, I was only waking up just just to go to, just to go to work at night. Like like if I wasn't like, like if I wasn't doing classes online. Right, I mean, it was just it was just like an online class. All I had to do was, was just check on the, was just check the, the the like the page for the class every week and just do the assignments that were due each week and just turn it in. Boom, get a grade done. No Zoom meeting, no nothing. But yeah, but like if I wasn't doing that shit, I I, I was going I, I was going to work at night, dealing with those retards. And and also my 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 shift and also my my manager right I was working with he was like twenty one. And him and his him and his other kid that was like sixteen, they were both they were they were both dickheads. Like 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 whenever those two were together, they were always like they were always like treat me like shit. They were quite, they were constantly like like harass me and treat me like shit. And um, and so with, with those two dickheads working together, and like all three of us working together, right? It, it was just fucking hell. It was just it was just hell. Like they would always constantly talk shit about me, over every single little mistake I'd be making. It was just dumb shit. It was just fucking dumb shit. Just fucking dumb shit. And so when, so over time, my manager, he ended up quitting the job, right? And and then when he quit, for some reason in his, in his dumb fucking mind, he thought that, that he was, that he was still manager of the store and he thought he, he still had power over uh, me and this, and the 16 year old that I was working with. So he's over here, like, like trying to like, 
get he's over here trying to get free shit from 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 this guy, and that same guy he's over here, he's over here calling me. He's over here like spam calling me saying like hey hey man Louis is telling me this Louis is telling me that and I'm like and I kept telling him bro stop listening to Louis. Louis doesn't work with us anymore. I even spoke I even spoken to to uh to Walter. Walter was the guy who hired me right the the, the area the area manager right. I'm like, bro, stop listening to Walter. Walter, Walter. I mean, stop listening to Lewis. Walter told me that that Lewis quit. Lewis has no Lewis has no control over what he uh, over what he can and cannot do. And um. And so eventually, I think I think Walter got rid of Joe. And I think it, it, yeah, it, it, yeah. According to Joe, right? It it, it got Joe is a sixteen year old. It got so bad. That Joe straight up told me that that what Lewis was doing was so fucked up that corporate got involved, and corporate and corporate straight up told him and his mom that that they, they are banned from from like from going to like the Taco Bell that that Joe and I worked at at the time. They were banned from ever going back to that store in particular. So that was the end of that, and it was just so stupid too because like he was doing all this dumb shit just just to just to not have me work at Taco Bell anymore, which is fucking dumb. And um, and also during that time too, when I was working with Walter, when I was working at, at Walter's stores, uh, he cut my he cut like like during twenty twenty three in particular, he cut my hours off for the second time in a row already. He cut my hours off. He cut my hours off back in late July, and he cut my hours off again. Uh, back around like like I think I would say I would think it was like I mean I would say it was like. Yeah, early yeah, like early August. I was working like one day, and then I got my hours back. And then right around September, uh, Walter hired way too many people at the for the new location, and it was just so many people that he ended up transferring me back to the old location that I used to work at uh, last year. And so I was working there for a while, and and then things just got ugly. Like 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 I started getting I started getting into a fight with, I started getting into fights with the managers because with with the manager I started getting I started getting to um, but I wasn't really fighting with the customers it wasn't the customers that were giving me problems it was the managers it was, it was just the manager that was giving me a problem like her name was Jasmine and like and like she would and like I'll get into uh or I'll start I'll have issues with her because because um, because she would start treating me like shit because it's because it was like fucking core we were doing core. And the thing, yeah, the thing we talk about right is, is that they do this bullshit called core, where it's like we're like uh, they have like these mystery shoppers that show up to, that show up to these stores and make sure that everything is is functioning the way it's supposed to be, everything's clean the way it's supposed to be. And so during this time, uh, Jasmine felt that it was okay for her to treat me like shit because it was core. Like like she would get under my skin over the littlest things, and she'd be saying like like, oh Adrian, I don't know why you, you're saying it like that. You're not new. You're not new, Adrian. You're not new. You should be knowing what to do. I'm like, I'm like, bitch, fuck you. I don't want to keep asking every single customer how they're doing. I don't give a fuck how the customer is doing. I- I'm just here to ring up their orders and-, and send them on out of here. You know, I- I'm not going to keep asking every single fucking customer, hi, how are you? Like, is it special? Because they're not. God damn, I-, I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be fucking uh, intimate with these fucking customers. I don't give a shit about these customers. God damn. But yeah, but she'll get on to me for that. And yeah, and yeah, we do, yeah, we just beginning to fucking arguments with her. I mean, I begin into a fucking argument with her. And it was, it was this one time too, where, where, where like this, this fucking uh, broke ass Domino's worker. Yeah, ironic that I'm calling him broke, right? I swear, it's the fucking Domino's worker that pissed me off. So this one uh, old decrepit ass, so this old decrepit Palpatine pasty looking motherfucker, uh, Domino's worker, right? He showed up to the drive through, and he's like, he's like, hey, yes, I, I want two crunchy tacos, and I want the meat, the meat swapped out with chicken. And so I did that, right? And, and, and me doing that is a, is an upcharge of like. Of like what ten cents, or or something like that, or some shit like that, and, and I guess his broke ass couldn't couldn't afford the ten cent I'm charged for for all of those additional tacos, and so he started bitching about it, and he's like, oh hold on hold on that that's not right, and I'm like yes it is right, no it's not, yes it is right, and then Jasmine got mad at me for fucking for talking for fucking arguing with the customer, and I'm just like, you know what I'm, I'm you know I'm done, I'm done with you bitch, I'm clocking out, I'm... yeah yeah she was talking she was talking like shit. No, no, no. She's no. She she decided to 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 interrupt my 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 channel that I was talking to the customer at with through my headset and started like you know kissing his ass and shit like that and, and I straight up yelled from across the room, "Yo, Jasmine, I'm clocking out." And she's like, "All right, go ahead, do it." And I'm, and I'm over trying to and I'm over I'm like clocking out and shit. And then she walks up like next to me. 
And she's like, Adrian, you can't be talking to customers like that. I'm like, why the fuck not? He's over talking to me like, a, like I'm an idiot. Like, like I'm an idiot. And she's like, no, 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 no. So basically what she was trying to do was like she wanted me to, to kiss the customer's ass and and, and and put the customer on the pedestal like as, if he, like as if he was correct in the first place. And I'm like, man, fuck you, bitch. And she's over saying like, oh, I've been treated worse before. And I'm like, well, just because you've been treated worse before doesn't make it right. Now does it. But she didn't care. She, I swear, I fucking hate people that are that, that, that are so like like devoted to a job, so devoted to a company that, that doesn't give a fuck about them. I'm like, bitch, Taco Bell doesn't give a fuck about you. I mean, you can kiss the customer's ass all you want. I guarantee fucking to you with Taco Bell. Taco Bell doesn't give a fuck about you. You're doing all this extra shit for, for, for nothing. You're getting paid 13 by the hour. Get real with yourself. I guarantee you that Taco Bell, I guarantee you you could be missing tomorrow and Taco Bell would not give a fuck about you. And they'll replace you with some other, and they'll replace you with some other uh, Hispanic baby mama with children born out of wedlock. You know, like, <laughs> like you ain't shit. You ain't shit. You are easily replaceable. Just like how I'm easily replaceable. Well, why, why do you think I don't, take, I don't take this job seriously? Well, I do take it somewhat seriously, but not completely, you know? Jesus Christ. But yeah, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And then they and then they brought in this new manager named, named Daria, right? And, and and again, like all the people that I was working with at, at, at the other location, right? Not, not the new one, but the other location, right? None of them spoke English. I was the only English speaker in, 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 that, uh, in that store. And so this one time, right? Uh, I was supposed to leave at four, right? But but, so which was originally what I was planning, on, which was supposed to happen, right? I was supposed to leave at four, but people, but the people I was working with, they were like telling me to stay because the Aria isn't here yet, and they were telling me that shit in Spanish, and I'm like, well, I'm supposed to, well, I got shit going on tomorrow, I I can't, I can't, I can't stay here, and so I so I literally stayed at the restaurant all pissed off and shit, waiting an hour for this bitch to show up, and then right when she finally showed up, I was trying to clock out of the system, but oh, wait, that's another thing too, too. They, they they changed their their, their system, so I no longer, so we no longer had had that old system that, that I was used to in, in which they used to like like a, like a like a color coding system to categorize certain foods. So if somebody would order a quesadilla, I would think of the color purple and then go to the purple tab. If somebody were to think of something from the dollar menu, I'll go to the red tab. If somebody was ordering something that was like a limited time type of type of food item, I'll go to the yellow tab. Right? It was such a perfect system until they replaced it with this garbage ass new modernized system where everything is fuck, so fucking hard to maneuver and find and for some reason the system was making it hard for me to clock out it wasn't letting me clock out and so the manager actually did it herself and so i was try, so I'm trying to clock out and i already i already put my headset up and i got people from the line trying to trying to like ring up orders for me and i'm over trying to clock out and, and like this manager she's over here pandering to the customers while I'm clearly right here standing next to the computer waiting to leave. And then right when she finally is done ringing up these customers' orders, she has the nerve to get mad at me, even though even though she was the bitch that showed up late. And she's always she's always saying like 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 oh you're supposed oh you're supposed to ring up order for customer. What you did was not, not nice. I'm like, you know what bitch, you know what the fuck else wasn't nice? Me waiting here in a fucking hour wasn't nice. I mean, me waiting here a fucking hour wasn't nice. You not answering my calls, asking asking me where asking where you were at wasn't fucking nice. You having me being worried about whether or not you you were gonna show up or not wasn't fucking nice. You being inconsiderate of, of of the life I have outside of this restaurant isn't fucking nice. You having me tied down to this restaurant for an hour. With, with with fucking with motherfuckers that, that don't speak English fresh off the boat from Tijuana wasn't fucking nice alright and it just got worse and worse and worse and, and and then like Walter he started cutting my he started cutting my days off for the second time no for the third time this fu- that fucking year which was last year so I was only working like Sundays at that point and then right around November like right around like towards the end of November to like early December uh, Walter took me off the schedule completely and I'm just like, you know what? I'm I'm tired of fighting with I'm you know I'm tired of calling this, of annoying Walter w- regards to my in regards to my hours. I'm tired of all this dumb shit. I'm not gonna arc, I'm not gonna fight with him over my over my days anymore. I'm not gonna fight with him over my hours anymore. I'm done. So I decided to, so I decided to go back to working at, at Waterburger, but like at a different location. And and I've been, and I've been working there since since this since I would say since December. All the way up until 
all the way up until now. So I've been working there for like about for like like five weeks now. So yeah, I, w I went back to working at Waterburger, but like at a different location, in a different city, which isn't too far from where I live, and that's where I've, I've been working at ever since. And there's been no problems, you know. It's, it's, it's been a chill. It's a chill job, you know. I I, I go in there. I chop. I chop up lettuce. I chop up lettuce, I make salads, I wash dishes. I take out trash sometimes. I mean, I take out trash from the lobbies. It, it's a chill job, you know, so I basically work as a porter, pretty much. So yeah, I, went, so yeah, I, I basically went back to Waterberg and it's, it's, like I said, it's, it's been a chill job, you know. I no, long, I no longer have to worry about dealing with idiot customers anymore. I no longer have to deal with like asshole. I don't, no longer have to deal with managers like being up my ass anymore. I'm, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know where where the hell my future is taking me. But I don't know where the hell my future is taking me, man. I I as an individual, I feel invisible. I feel invisible to the world. I feel like I feel like I've died as a person, and that I'm just that I'm just observing everyone else's life while mine is just empty and shallow. And I just pray to God that I just that someday I, I will just I'll finally get out I'll finally like you know graduate from college I mean, I'll finally graduate from university and finally have that life I always wanted. I lo like like I would love to be in that position in my life where like I'm finally, you know, living a good life and I'm and I and I'm finally and I finally no longer feel the need to look back at my past like I finally just move for have move the move forward with more with more serenity and, and more sincerity. And, um, yeah, all I got to say is, is, uh, fuck Taco Bell and, and all the people that work there, they're, they're all, just, they're all just a mis they're, they're all just a bunch of miserable bastards. They're all just a bunch of miserable bastards that, that don't speak fucking English, fresh off the boat from Tijuana and there's all the opportunities and they have, and they have no fucking opportunities. So they feel the need to work at some dead end place and spread misery all around trying to support their kids born, born out of wedlock. And that's all the fuck they're ever going to amount to in life. And that's all I gotta say. Fuck, fuck them. Fuck everybody from Taco Bell. That's all I gotta say. Well, not everybody. You know, there's some people at Grand Prairie that that I was cool with, but oh yeah, I was about to say. So Anthony, right? So the the guy I worked with at Taco, at Taco Bell in Grand Prairie. Uh, it, I guess I guess I, got, I guess the people over there were so fucking bad that his that his whole family moved to Arlington. Yeah, it got that bad. His whole family moved to Arlington, Texas. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where, I don't know where the future's taking me. I personally feel dead to the world, and I desperately am trying my best to make the best of my life right now. Trying to make the best of where I'm at right now, but it's just like everything just feels very empty and shallow for me. And I, and I'm not happy. And I'm tired of being in denial about it. And to all the people that that are telling me like, oh, what are you, what are you doing about it? I don't fucking know. If I knew, I wouldn't be crying on YouTube, now would I? And that's another thing I've noticed too over the past three years is that people, people talk just to talk. What, like, people say shit without fucking thinking, and, and like, and like, and like, unfortunately, a lot of people do that, and it, and it pisses me off so much, you know. I remember this one idiot. He was, he, I remember like this, this one idiot. He was saying that, uh, "Hey, bro, what your what your manager did was illegal. Like firing, firing you, like quietly firing you. What he did was illegal. I, I, if I were you, bro, I would hire a lawyer." I'm like, with what money, dude? With what fucking money? Which again goes back to me saying that people say shit without thinking and, and it's the reason why I, I don't i don't really and that's the reason why I, I don't tell people my problems because because i already know people are just gonna tell are just gonna give me some some bullshit advice because i already know people are gonna give me some bullshit ass fucking advice that that they heard on the internet and they think that, so, that they're so original or they would just talk out of their ass but without even like having any any sort of consideration as to where i'm at financially you know and and yeah, that's the reason why I don't be telling people my problems, you know. And and, and I be and I be seeing some of these motherfuckers right running around in in life, and I'm just like, 
seeing them and the dumb shit they be doing. I'm just like, how does how did this motherfucker have a girlfriend? How does how does this motherfucker make it this far in life? You know, or or like how does this motherfucker like how does this motherfucker have a girlfriend and, and, and he's a and he's a bum not doing shit with his life, and yet I'm over here going out try, trying to do the trying to do the most that I can. To, you know, to better myself in regards to like you know my career, and, and, and yet no girl has come my way yet. And that's what be pissing me off about people in the world in general. And it seems like a lot of these girls, they tend to gravitate toward towards retards. And it really has me like questioning their intelligence at that point. But I'm not going to go into a rant about that. You know, I'm simply just ranting about my, um, my experience in, in retail. I mean, my experiences in fast food and the stupidity I had to endure. Oh, that was another thing too. Motherfuckers were always constantly bitching at us for, for the food not being fresh. That was another thing too. That was another thing too. So every time when nacho when the nacho fries would come out right, motherfuckers would always pull up to the drive through expecting the fries to be fresh and, and, and like they'd be pissed off when it doesn't. And one time I straight up told this, this one black woman like like hey, none of the food that we have here at Taco Bell is fresh. None of the food here is fresh. Everything, all the food that you that we give you comes in a bag. It comes in a bag. And the fries, the fries are just just sit there, just just sit in the area where all the meats are at, where, where all the, the where all the, the meats are at when it comes down to like you know putting shit in like the burritos and just passing it forward where the other guy puts in toppings and the other person grills it you know or bags it whatever. Y yeah, yeah, the fries. There's no there's no heating lamp. There's no heat lamp where the fries are at. We there's no heating lamp. And I told her this, and she was like, "Wait, wait, see, so, so wait, so y'all don't make the fries like other like 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 other restaurants do?" I'm like, "No, we do not." And she's like, "Oh hell no, fuck that." And I be telling her, and, and, and I even told her like like yeah, that's the one thing that be pissing me off about Taco Bell is, is that these motherfuckers right right they, they be trying to like do all these all these experiments and sh trying they're trying to be exper experimental and shit right, but when it comes down to execution, they're horrible at it. They're horrible at, at executing these these set experiments because we don't specialize in fries. We're we're a taco we're a taco joint. We're not, we're not Burger King. We're not Wendy's. We're not. <clears throat> we're not McDonald's. You know, we're not Carl's. We're not Carl's Jr. We're not Jack in the Box. So it's, it's just so it really boggles my mind why the people, why the higher ups in Taco Bell feel, feel the need that that, that is a, that it's smart for Taco Bell to start selling fries, even though Taco Bell as a company doesn't specialize in shit like that. We specialize in making fake Mexican food, right? And I even told her this, and, and, and she was like, oh, hell no, fuck that. And then she drove off. So that was like one of the very few instances in which I myself was actually being, you know, true to the customer. I was, I was siding with the customer and, and being truthful with the customer and telling her, like, hey, talk about sucks at, at, ex at executing experimental shit. They, they do things without even thinking about how to execute it properly. You know? <clears throat> Oh, and also that was also another thing too that pissed me off about Taco Bell. The freezes, the freezes were high rate robbery. Like motherfuckers were always were always pulled to the drive through bitching about the prices. Well, not always, but like there was something to be pulling up to the drive through bitching about the freezes and how expensive they are. Like like for like for like a large cup, which is basically just a medium cup, right? It was it was like three forty nine for for like a lot for like a large cup. And I even told and I even be telling these customers to be ordering this shit that they'd be complaining about it, saying like. Yeah, that's a ripoff, bro. You're better off going to a gas station and getting and getting um, and getting a slushy in, in an even bigger size cup for much less than what Taco Bell is charging you. And I'd be telling them that straight up. I, I I'd be telling them that straight up. <clears throat> you know. But anyways, that's, that's the end of you know that's the end of my long ass video about talking about my my experiences in retail. So yes, I I've been. I've been treated like shit. I've been disrespected by customers and my and some of my managers as well. And um and yeah, I mean even 2 years ago I I didn't tolerate that shit. I I, I was always I always stood up for myself when it came down to that shit. I, I don't tolerate motherfuckers disrespecting me. I don't, I don't give a fuck who you are, you know. I don't give a fuck who you are. You you don't fucking disrespect me. You know, especially when when I never disrespected you, you know. Oh yeah, that was another thing too. Like, 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 like my store manager, right before they ended up, they, before they ended up moving him to like the, the, the this is my, this is my store manager back in Grand Prairie, right? <clears throat> so before they moved him to like this one location in Fort Worth, right? I, I remember, I remember, fuck, I'm gonna say his name, Gabriel, right? Gabriel was talking to Anthony, and he was like saying like, 
like and like he was saying to Anthony that 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 Adrian doesn't doesn't tolerate shit for nobody. He doesn't tolerate Adrian doesn't tolerate, doesn't tolerate nobody shit. Adrian's is very Adrian is a very like independent person. He doesn't tolerate nobody shit. And, and like when Anthony told me that, I was like I was like, damn, Gabriel said that about me. Shit. I mean, I appreciate the fact you put me in some high regards in that aspect, you know. But, anyways. I would say these over the past uh, two to three years have been a very strange journey for me in terms of, of like developing my, I guess, my self worth and and developing my self respect and started developing my my sense of individual worth. I suppose you can call it that. Overall, I started, I started, I started giving, I started gaining a lot of like self respect for myself, and started and stopped, you know, tolerating people that were giving me like the bare minimum in life when it came down to like friends and family, all that other stuff, which explains why my my life has been so empty and, and lifeless over the past three years because I just I, I stopped I stopped settling for people that were get, just giving me the bare minimum in terms of like you know friendships or, or like ge- having a genuine connection and. um yeah, I feel empty. I feel lonely. But at least I'm not in pain anymore when it comes down to those kinds of things. But anyways, um I hope I hope y'all actually managed to stick by me watching this uh almost 52 minute long video about me ranting about working retail or fast food. And um I'll definitely be making more videos like this in the near future, so if you guys are interested stay tuned this is sky warrior checking out i'll see you guys in the next one uh comment rate subscribe all that stuff and uh, yeah i'll see you guys later goodbye